Hi Virgo, I hope you're okay. I'm Clarissa. Thank you so much for being here. Virgo, I'm here for your how do they feel about you reading. So let's see what energies are here for you. We have two sides, your side and their side. Obviously you can change your energies how you like, how it resonates with you. And let's begin. Virgo, we've got four of swords. So yeah, this is a containment of uh, thoughts here. This is letting things lie. This is almost like uh, not allowing your energy or not allowing the energy to affect you in a certain way. We've got Ten of Swords here. So again, this is based on um, how how things have felt. It may have felt a little bit rough at the moment in terms of so many thoughts, so many things affecting the situation. You could be feeling a little bit under the weather as well and wanting to again reserve your energy to make sure you, you create that healing space here. Okay, yep, Eight of Swords. So again, this is definitely feeling like, uh, you know, there's got to be this level of containment in terms of the thinking. I think uh, someone has separated themselves from the thoughts of others at the moment. It could be like the energy is too much. Just people around are just, you know, ultimately just annoying. <laughs> and you just, there needs to be a container here so there, so there is time to just ponder the thoughts, think what what is needed. It's almost like... um. Yeah, just being a little bit within. It's not selfish to create self care, and this is this is definitely what it's indicative to indicative of. There is going to be a need to you know there is a time where you're going to have to come out of this energy. But at the moment, you wanted to just create a little bit of security here for yourself, a little bit of containment in the mind. Okay, and we've got hangman. Yeah, so hangman definitely speaks of wanting to just bide your time. There was a need to take time in something for point of view to change, for maybe it's a feeling to change, maybe it's a sense of intuition about a situation that needs to change, um, but there is time needed to develop on this here. So let's get to the energy of the other side. Two of Swords, I mean, gosh, there's so many Swords cards in this reading, Virgo. <laughs> This is somebody, you know, again, it's about the mindset and this side is trying to weigh up some things. So there's two points of view that they're trying to weigh up here and they're considering. So there was a little pondering, a little bit of maybe confusion in the mind here. They could be bouncing off the energy of this side and it may be creating a little bit of confusion about how they feel about things. So let's get another card. Five of swords. How many swords are we going to have here, Virgo? <laughs> Virgo. So again, it's it's caused a little bit of displacement for this side here. They feel like um, they're not. They maybe they're feeling a little bit shut out. They're feeling like they're not able to get into the mind or the thoughts of of this side here. So it's kind of created a uh, almost like a um, within. It's created an energy within here. Okay, let's get another card. We've got Knight of Swords as well. So yes, another Swords card here, Virgo. So we've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is definitely about the mindset. It's just so ultimately about where the thoughts are being placed at the moment. This this Knight of Swords, you know, really speaks their mind. Um, they cut through the emotion. Yeah, so it feels very disruptive in the mindset here. It feels like there is a lot going on in this reading that the thoughts are kind of everywhere. So there's a need to create containment. Let's get another card. Three of Wands. There, there is a need to move forward. Somebody wants to drive the connection forward and move it out of this element of thoughts here. And there is a need to move out of the way it's making a person feel in their mind. There is really a need because it's almost like when it stays within the thought process or whether it stays within the containment it just becomes you know a bit hard to deal with it's like this person can't shake it i definitely feel like there is a lot of projection being put on to one side of the relationship one like one side of the dynamic where to the point where someone's had to say something someone's had to say listen this is how it's making me feel can we move on to the next point can we move on to the next stage and just see where the road is taking us so let's get a, a card for the energy together yeah four of cups yeah four of cups really speaks of the energy um being again contained there is a resistance here a little bit of resistance to 
uh, you know, bring the energy out and move it forward. Ultimately, there's maybe some things have happened on this side where they, it's, their expression is needing to go within, needing to go within the mindset. Like they've had to deal with a lot of things, you know, over time, over a long period of time. And it's almost like maybe they got a little bit stuck in this energy. Um, so things, the world has kind of been happening around them and it's, it's as, as things have happened, it's been another thing. It's almost like they've connected to this, to this energy and now it attracts everything that's connected to this energy that kind of impounds the way they think about life at the moment. So I feel like this side is, you know, it's starting to feel the nervousness of this, of this feeling and wants to move things forward. But there is a, you know, um, again, there was an element of protecting individually the energy. Individual, individually, it's like they're wanting to contain, this side wants to contain because they want to stay in their energy. This side is more like a protection thing, you know, we've got the night here. It's like they're protecting their energy from the way it makes them feel, but it does create a confusion in their mind. Okay, Virgo, so what we're going to do is move on to the clarifying. So if you'd like to join me on YouTube. All right, so let's clarify the Four of Swords. We've got the Hangman in reverse. This side knows what has to be done. You know, it's um, they feel like you know they 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 know they, they acknowledge that there has to be this movement, but and and they will, you know, they will because they want to you know continue this relationship. They are listening. They are wanting to make some changes but they feel like they've had to go through some things to create this enlightenment experience, this, this knowing about life or their life. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, yeah. It gets better from here, Virgo. <laughs> it gets better from here. It doesn't stay in the way it feels. You know, there is, uh, you know, we've, we've got some grounded energy here, finally. We've got some Ten of Pentacles, and again, this is because of your own efforts. I, I'm assuming this is, is you, but you know, you you take it how it resonates. But the efforts of this person, you know, coming back to Earth all, 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 all of a sudden, at some point, it's like they're coming back to, uh, they're coming out of the mind and becoming more grounded. And when they do attach to their ground, it like it all happens. It all gets better. But they've needed to. It's Eight of Swords. Let's clarify the Eight of Swords. Yeah, look, the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, mm. mm. this extended reading is really nice. So yes, Virgo, there's, you know, very Saturnian energy. So again, we're thinking about, um, you know, the future. We're thinking about the way things feel. It's like things will change, will turn here. Okay, so let's clarify the Hangman. Let's clarify the Hangman for Virgo. The three of swords in reverse and ultimately this is what the problem is there has been some residual feelings coming back and maybe something triggered maybe the last few weeks or so something has triggered this emotion to come back and to be remembered but it's like it doesn't mean anything in the present the way this feeling is or whatever the situation was it is not a now situation it's a it was situation so the, the three of swords in the reverse, there could have been some, you know, kind of um, energies that, you know, superseded what the connection is all about. It could have been heartbreak. It could have been third party. It could have been, you know, again, some, some, something or someone was placing importance over the connection. So something outside of the connection was taking importance over it. And this made, made one side of the, the connection go a bit more withdrawn and they stayed there a bit too long. To the point where it affected this side. So let's clarify the two of swords. Let's clarify the two of swords. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Yeah, this person was, you know, detaching from the situation. They're trying to remain focused on just, you know, growing, um, you know, and creating a security. So it, it, it's almost it allowed them to become a little bit more dependent on themselves and, you know, create their own security here. Okay, so let's clarify the... Three of Swords, Five of Swords, I beg your pardon. Five of Swords. Yeah, transformation. Mm. The, it, you know, the confusion 
the tussle in the mind for this side created a revelation. It created a knowing about who they are. It created clarity. You know, so it, it, in, in turn, it kind of affected them in a way that it just made them, um, you know, shake them up a little bit. They had to kind of, you know, be a bit more forthcoming, you know, a bit, a bit more, you know, metal, you know, pedal to the metal. <laughs> Let's clarify the, the Knight of Swords. We've got the Eight of Swords again here. They can't, they won't, because we've got Eight of Swords here as well on this side. So again, there is a little bit of project projection, so there could be some back and forth here. So it's almost like, yeah, I feel like this side absorbed some of the thoughts. And when they spoke about it, it's almost like they let this person see what it looks like, what it feels like. So it's almost like a bit of deflection. It's like we received it, absorbed it, and projected it back. So they were able to deflect. And I think this is what some maybe sparked a little change here. The letting is almost like they have to become the mirror of what this person's feeling. They're letting them see what happens, what it feels like. And um, we've got here, yes, this is what we want, Ace of Wands. So it's nice that there is this need for action here, you know, this implementation. There will be movement. There will be movement. Action is the way forward. Thoughts to action, great. And this is where we want things to be. And let's clarify the Four of Cups. Four of Cups here. Yeah, seven of pentacles, no more waiting, seven of pentacles, no more waiting, harvest is here. So it's making sure that, again, um, in, in, there isn't too much of a weight to, you know, this containing energy, not wanting to share the emotion. We want, we want to make sure that it doesn't stay there for too long because we do want things to grow. We don't want things to feel like they're wasted, like you're putting in this element of security and it's being wasted here. We want to make sure that it grows good and it's been nurtured. All right, so let's get some angel cards for you. Let's get some angel cards for Virgo. Transformation. Well, hello. <laughs> transformation, yeah, this person definitely went through a transformation here. Their thoughts was really, in, like, powering the reading. Really powering the reading. So they had to go through a transformation. Sacred plan, yeah. This person, this side, has got, you know, it's like they are connected to the kind of unconsciousness of their own plan. It's like they it's, they had to make some changes. They've got like a, a divine knowing about things, which is helping them grow. It's like they've attracted each other to be each other's sense of growth here. So let's get another card for you, Virgo. No, imagine that. So some things can remain, and I feel like it's you're allowed to again create this containment. You're allowed to create a container um, for the time being, you know. But it's, it's when it gets to a point of um, when it gets to a point of it's not growing in the right way. We have to say no to the way it feels. You know, we have to we have to say look, this is making me feel a certain way. I would like some changes, please, because this is how it's making me feel. And this, this is what I want you to know. Yes, Virgo. So thank you so much for being here, Virgo. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye.